Hi, this is Ryan with American Responders. Here to do a little ALS assist with you. Uh, discuss the Life Pack 15 monitor, uh, some of the uses of it, and just the basic stuff for your normal EMT or refresher for your new medics. So first off, the green button, of course, is the ORM button. Turn on your monitor. If we're doing blood pressure, we're gonna go over here, pull out our blood pressure cuff. Also, you can change up the sizes depending on how big or small the patient is. So this is your blood pressure cuff, adult size. There's other various sizes. To change it out, all you have to do is pull the clamp here, pull it apart. And we're gonna change out a different size. Say we have a large patient. This is our extra large cuff. All you do is push it on, it's attached. Take it off again, just pull the, the, the thing. Okay. Also, we carry other sizes, your infant size, child size, and small adult sizes. So put on like a normal blood pressure cuff. Nothing abnormal there. Mark out, try to make it up with the artery, they have an artery line on here. You want to match it up, ideally. So once your blood pressure cuff is on, uh, all you gotta do is push the NIBP button over here, and that'll start your blood pressure. So cool things about the blood pressure cuff, it is automatic. Uh, you might have your elderly patients complain about how much it hurts, uh, depending on how high their blood pressure is. Uh, it will cause more pressure and more pain depending. Uh, so be cognizant of that. Cool thing on here, it also tells you their MAP. Uh, we won't go into that too much today. Just know as long as their MAP is above 65, you're good. That means they're perfusing enough, their organs can perfuse. If it's below 65, it means they're not perfusing. So let's see what my blood pressure is and see what my MAP, my MAP is. So my blood pressure is 130 over 85, and my MAP is 104. So as long as above 65, you're golden. Also, it's gonna change, it will take another blood pressure in five, every five minutes. So we can change that. If you turn your little clicker here knob and click the button, and it can change your time settings. So critical patient should be every five minutes for vitals. If it's a non-critical patient, every 15. So all you do, click, turn to whatever setting you want. And if you have someone that already has low blood pressure and you don't want it to go up with the initial pressure too high, you can change that too. That way it doesn't hurt their arm so much. Clear that, hit the home button. So now I did blood pressure. Now it's all pulse ox. So our pulse ox is this thing right here. This will be our Oxygen reading, our SpO2. Plug it in up here. All it is is a push. Make sure it's in. There's little, little gray things here to pull it out. Just squeeze and pull it out. The pulse ox goes on our finger. Let's see what it is today. Also, with the O2, we can always change all this stuff. So O2. If we want to see what the waveform is, pretty cool. We just do go right here, click waveform, change it to SPO2, and we have a nice waveform. So right now, oxygen's 99%, which is perfect. As long as above 94, you don't need any oxygen. Heart rate 70, can't beat it right there. Uh, also, you can see the waveform here. So when you feel a pulse. This, that pulse will match up with the waveform on here. It's another way of confirming uh, mechanical capture of your pacing or something like that also. So next up, we're gonna talk about how to do a three lead. So now we're gonna attach our leads. So we'll pull them out of this here. Plug in our green end into the big circle. Now, when we look at our leads, it'll tell you where they go. So all you do is look at the top. So we have left arm, right arm, left leg, 
and right leg. So green right leg, red left leg, white is right arm, and left is black. So remember it's patient's sides, not your sides. So make sure you line up correctly. So left arm, left arm, right leg. This guy has no legs, but we're going to put on his side for now. Right arm, right arm. And finally, we have our red, which is our left leg. And there you have the limb leads, how to do a three lead. So the acronyms for the leads are smoke over fire. So red's the fire, black's the smoke. And then clouds over grass. So the white's on the top, that's the clouds. Green at the bottom for the grass. Smoke, smoke over fire, clouds over grass. All right, let's talk about 12 leads. We're not gonna go into all the nitty gritty of that because it's a lot to learn. But today we're just gonna learn about how to place the leads correctly. So first off, we plug in down here. So this is where you plug in your 12 lead cables. If you don't plug it in, it's not gonna work. So start with lead one. So V1 is here. Pull your little sticky off. And we're gonna put it right here. And we're gonna put it on either side of the sternum. Lead two. Goes on the opposite side of the sternum. And now we're just gonna keep continuing around. So lead three goes right down here. Lead four goes beside that and always easy to remember, remember it. Remember it. An easy way to remember lead four is always goes underneath the nipple. If it's a female, it makes it more difficult, but do your best to line it up. So lead four, underneath the nipple. Five goes beside four and acts between the armpit and the nipple. And six goes underneath the armpit. So it makes a nice circle around it. So we have our leads placed around the chest. All right, and that my friends is how you do a 12 lead. It's not that difficult. Everybody makes out to be worse than it really is. So just remember smoke over fire, clouds over grass, and your one, two over between the sternum, three, four underneath the nipple, five, and six underneath the armpit. Other than that, you'll be fine. All right, let's go back to the monitor. Things to remember, your monitor might be in paddle mode. Uh, so go up here and click to change the lead setting. So normally most monitors are in paddle mode just in case in a rest right off the bat. And you might have to come in here, click, click on paddles, go down to lead two. And that way you can see what's actually the waveform the monitor is. If you don't do that, you're not gonna see the waveforms. Next, let's talk about how to print your vital signs. So there's a button over here called code summary. So we can hit that once and now we'll print out our vital signs and everything else. So after you see the vitals, hit the code summary button one more time and it'll stop it. And then to pull it off, Always got an angle to pull it off. Never go straight down, it ain't gonna work. Side angle pull, just like that. Nice, easy cut. All right, now how would you change the paper in this thing? Well, it's actually really simple. All you do is pull this little thing right here, open up the monitor, take out our old paper if it, or old roll, put the new one back in, Pull it out just a little bit, close it, and you're good to go. Pretty simple. Now some of you might want to learn how to change out the battery in this thing. Always a good thing to do, and it's a great thing to do for your partner. Uh, make sure the batteries are charged up. So at the top here, it shows you how full the batteries are. So the green over here, one is at three, two is at four, but we're gonna say one of them is dead. 
If it goes down to red, it's dead, of course. Turn them on around here. Open up the back. And down here you have your uh, monitor batteries. So just pull one out, like so. And all you have to do is pull the little thing here. I'm going to check the batteries, push the gray button to check it. And then we're going to put it back in. Just put it at an angle, pop it in. Done. All right, now that that's done, we're going to talk about how to transmit this to the hospital. A lot of places like you to put the information in. To get, put the information about the patient, we go into options. We go into patient. And you can start to put the last name, first name, how old the patient is, and what sex they are. And does it determine does it make a difference with the age and the sex? It will use different information to uh, put a diagnostic in. Push home button to clear it. Once that you have the information in, we're going to transmit, and then go to reports. We're going to, we're going to send whatever twelve lead. It's not on here right now. We'll send whatever twelve lead to the hospital. Click twelve lead, and then pick your site. So click where the hospital you're going to. Hit send. Done. So that'll help your paramedic out. Send it off to the hospital for you. Home to come back.